who should use Linux is something that uh, I don't talk about very often. A lot of times I'm talking about who shouldn't use Linux or, hey, if you're a gamer, you should use Windows. Or if you're into like video editing, maybe you should use Mac. And, and I say, hey, Linux is really meant for productivity and also uh, something I, I haven't really said, but it really kind of dawned on me as I watched a TED Talk from Rodney Mullen, one of the greatest skateboards to ever live. He invented the click kickflip, and he even brought up Linux in his TED Talk, where he was like, hey, some of the biggest and most creative minds in the world use Linux. And I think it's because we get to choose kind of what we want. With Windows or Mac, a lot of times you're kind of pigeonholed into something that looks like this if you're on Mac, or it looks like this if you're on Windows. There's not really much to it. If you're fine with just having a company tell you, hey, how this is the life you're going to live on a computer and you need to, you know, stay within these bounds, then by all means, stay on those. They're, they're great. And when it comes to Windows, it's great at gaming. And when it comes to Mac, it's a very predictable experience, very stable, and, and honestly has some of the best video editing software out there. You know, I love Final Cut Pro. <laughs> this video is made with it. But... Most of the time, you see me in Linux, and a lot of times, it it is derived because I get the most enjoyment when I'm in Linux. I I have the most fun when I'm in Linux, uh, and my whole whole purpose this entire channel is to have fun with technology, and I get the most fun because I get to choose everything about it. And that is amazing. I think it's lost on a lot of users. I think a lot of users are thinking, hey, Linux is meant for just to be this stable, static thing, or I need to install this distribution to get whatever it is. And to me, Linux is the ultimate canvas. It's the ultimate art form to where you can make whatever you want. Um, it doesn't matter. It, you your preferences, whatever it might be, you can change everything from the file explorer down to the desktop that you see here. This is my current creation, and I'll probably change it in my next year. It'll probably look completely different. I'll have something completely different than that. And it's amazing that I can take these things and make anything I want. If I want to use my computer a certain way, I can do it with Linux. It's the ultimate form of creativity in an operating system. You just can't get that with Mac or Windows. You might download like 10 different third-party tools just to have Windows somewhat customized. Or with Mac, you might be downloading, like I, I personally love Magnet application for for mac i couldn't live without it i mean it adds so much functionality but all these things are just tacked on to an existing fundamental level that you really can't change and with linux you get to choose everything linux is creativity so i just want to say that's the person that really should use it uh, the person that likes tinkering, the person that uh, I think I read a comment the other day was like, hey, Linux users are just all about, you know, maintaining and configuring their operating system and less about using the computer. And, you know, I'd have to say that comments a little off basis, but not too terribly missing the mark. A lot of times it's about just creating something new, creating a new way to use a computer or a new rabbit hole to go down. And there's just infinite rabbit holes to go down in Linux where when it comes to Mac, I felt like after about a month, I was good. I understood pretty much everything there was to know about Mac. Maybe a couple little things here and there. Windows, honestly, I, I've been on it most of my life. Totally understand it. Totally get it. But with Linux, I never know everything. I, I never feel like I'm, I'm, oh, just just another year or two, just another couple manuals and I'll have it. It's uh, something that I'm like, oh, you know what, my, my X11 renderer that's displaying all my stuff, it's not working all that great for mirroring screens and of 1440p at 144 refresh rates. I'm going to change my renderer out to Wayland and, and try that out for a minute. You know, there's so many different things to go down, and there's always something new in it. And who should use Linux really boils down to 
the person that wants to be creative, the person that wants to customize their computing experience, the person that really just loves tinkering and, and getting in there and changing their environment. And that's who should use Linux. It's as simple as that. And uh, I know I was a little bit burnt out before I really gave Linux desktop an honest try to the point where I was like, I hate uh, getting on computers so much. You know, a lot of times I'd get on and be like, I'm just going to go on a game or whatever it might be, just kind of turn my mind off. And it really wasn't until... I got on Linux desktop and experimented and became creative that I was like, this is amazing. But it's a very, very unique thing. It's not for everybody. But when you get into here and you create something that you have never uh, experienced or seen before, or you, you know that yours is the only one that is like that in the entire world, oh, it, it gives you a sense of joy, a, a sense of... Um, enjoyment that you just have never can experience in a Windows or a Mac environment. And to me, that's the ultimate person that should use Linux. I know that sounds a little cheesy, sounds a little bit off, but um, a lot of people are like, I just want to play my, my, you know, World of Warcraft, or I want to just play my whatever. I'm like, yeah, just use Windows. Or, hey, I just want to, you know, use my computer as whatever, you know, and, and I just want to do these three tasks. I'm like, well, probably just choose a Mac because they probably won't force updates down your throat and be so cumbersome like you see the Windows counterpart. But Linux, it's the oddball. Something you should check out. If you haven't already, it's amazing. And that is my views on who should use Linux.